My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got Cutie Patootie right here, and this is one rare automobile. It's a 1963 Chevy Nova Super Sport. It's a genuine Super Sport, and it's the only year that they made a convertible Nova. This car has been recently, just last year, finished a complete rotisserie restoration. We have the whole photo album, which I left on my desk, but we did scan and upload some of the pictures to our website, uh, showing the whole process down to a bare shell on a rotisserie and it is loaded up with options power steering power brakes air conditioning power top buckets console uh, it's got dual antennas we have fender skirts i had a couple people say take those off they didn't like them uh, so i took one off you'll see it as it goes around you can leave in your comments whether we should leave them on or take them off they'll go with the car regardless though uh, six-cylinder car, all Novas were uh, six-cylinder, I should say none of them were V8s, I think they had a four-cylinder or the six-cylinder, so it is a genuine super sport, six-cylinder car, that's the way they were, runs great. So, go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the information, look at the pictures, get all the prices on all the inventory we have, it's on our website at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. That tops down, let's go for a spin. So, like I was explaining, a rotisserie is just that. It, you can flip the car over. What's nice about it is you don't have to bend and lay and get at weird angles to work on the car. You just do a better job when it's right there in front of you. So all the components were, were removed from the car. The rear end, the bushing, springs, uh, all of it uh, removed. The whole uh, bottom of the car is restored. It's all metal. There's no rust. It was painted a semi-gloss, maybe even a gloss black. It's kind of glossy under there. And then everything was rebuilt when it was put back. All the ball joints and suspension and springs and shocks uh, all replaced. Um, uh, the gas tank is all painted glossy. Uh, the drive line, the rear end's glossy. It has a power glide automatic transmission. You look up at the motor, that's all nice and clean. Uh, it has power steering, the whole power steering control valve and hoses, that's all been replaced. Uh, drum brakes all around, they're all rebuilt. Uh, e brake is hooked up. Uh, so underneath the car is real nice and clean. The guy that's owned this car bought it in 1986. He owned it till last year, 2021. He owned that car. I think that comes out to 30 something years, 35 years, something like that. Uh, it's a one owner car for a long, long time. And again, the restoration was just finished. Um, so the body, it's an original ermine white, they call it. The hood looks to be in really nice shape. No damage, no issues. The paint's smooth and glossy, fits nice and square like it should. This is all real nice body, no bubbles, no issues there. All straight, clean, very square lines right there and flush. That door fits really well, shuts nice. If you decide to leave the fender skirts, I will say they fit really nicely. Uh, this is all in excellent shape, trunk, all real nice, paint's beautiful, smooth, glossy paint. Yeah, I don't see any issues with the body at all. It's straight, there's no damage. A couple little nicks down uh, below the door, maybe from getting in and out or a seat belt or something like that. Um, so paint, paint's a 9 out of a 10. I don't really see any issues, but... Uh, you can nitpick anything, I guess. So the Super Sport package came with these hubcaps, came with the extra molding down the side, the SS emblems. Uh, this one also has an optional bow tie locking chrome gas cap. And all this trim is either replaced or restored. Put dual antennas on it. That's a nice, cool touch. 
radial tires, door handles are new. All this trim is all either new or restored. It has bow tie mirrors on both sides. All new rubber gaskets, new windshield, the wiper arms are shiny. <clears throat> the hubcaps look like they're good originals. I think they could be polished up a little more, just a little bit dull. <clears throat> oh yeah, dirty, they forgot to wipe them off. Chrome down the middle is real nice. This piece here looks to be real good original. There's some fractals, a little bit of pitting on this piece right here. Uh, the bumper, the grill, all that's excellent. The lenses, the bezels, all that's really sharp looking. So it has a bow tie mirror on both sides. Got the red boot to match the interior. So there you have it. Why don't, uh, why don't we open it up? I'll give you a tour of the inside. It's got a real nice trunk compartment here. I love the bright red carpet. Uh, fits in there real nicely. It has nice sewn edges. Underneath the carpet has sound deadener. It eliminates some of the rattly and tinny sounds. Uh, and then the sides were done with the gray spatter. New well liner for the top. And it's a new tire for a spare. SS hubcap on a painted rim. The jack assembly is underneath there. Under the trunk lid is painted, and the jam's real slick. New weather strip, new sticker. So that's a real nice trunk compartment. And it's complete. It's not missing anything. So it's a white convertible power top. Power top was pretty rare uh, on a car like this. The Novas were to be a basic, simple car. Uh, you can see pictures of the top on our website. It's white. It's all restored. Uh, and this boot fits real, real good too. Uh, why don't we start over there at the door panel and the door jam? You know, the weather strips are replaced, door panel, armrest, window cranks, all that's been replaced. Got a real nice dash. This is an optional padded dash, real nice shape. The instrument panel, uh, the gauges, the lens, all real nice. It has the, uh, part of the SS is the gauge cluster. It has an optional clock uh, that's not working. The radio is original. There's some pitting on the AM radio. And this here is your air conditioning unit. That's how it would have been. It says Chevrolet right there. All this metal's painted real nicely. You got some nice bucket seats, new cushions, new upholstery. They're nice and firm. You have a real nice original center console with the floor shifter. And I, underneath the carpet, it's also done in the Dynamat, uh, the sound deadener. And the back seat area is all done just as nice. Everything fits real nice. All one color red. I don't like it when the metal's one color, the seats are another color, and the boots a third color red. All matches real nice. Chrome on the side of the seats, the sill plates all look sharp. Visors are replaced. That door shuts nice. Now remember to leave your comment with or without skirts if you were to own it. Fully restored motor compartment. And look at what we got going on. We have factory air conditioning system. You have power steering and we have power brakes. That's quite a lot for a Nova convertible. It has the 194 six cylinder engine. Super easy to maintain this motor. Uh, someone can drive this car and, and not have uh, to mess around with it very much at all. And look how nice all the metal is. It's all painted a smooth black finish. The engine's painted, the brackets, all that's painted up real nice. The right air cleaner, valve cover. It's got both horns. The battery's secured properly. Washers are hooked up. Bottom of the hood is done in a gloss white. And, and look down here. It even has the glass bottle. That's with the washer fluid concentrate. That was a pretty nifty thing they were doing back then.
So this is a really rare car. Convertible, optioned out like it is. I, I, there can't be more than a handful in the country, I, I would think. So there you have a unique piece, going to be a conversation uh, starter when you go to the car shows or cruise nights. People are going to be so surprised to see what you have under the hood with the air and all that goodies. And it just makes it very comfortable and easy to drive. This is a nice cruiser. It looks good. Someone else did all the hard work. You get to enjoy it. That's my impression anyway. Go to volocars.com. Uh, there's plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, you can ask. Uh, they'll help you the best they can, and they can help get this car delivered to your driveway, and they can help you finance it as well. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.